Hi, Sadie. We're here today to talk about wider reading and research. Um, can you tell me a bit more about how your practice looked at AWARE? Okay, so at AWARE, um, I was at the early stages of my um, independence. Um, I was much guided by my mentor um, who recommended um, wider reading and observing other teachers. Um, I found that capable was a big jump from mm -hmm. away and I had to demonstrate a lot more initiative um, and I needed to engage in more research outside of the classroom to help me with certain areas within the school, whether that was SEN or in the early years. Um, my mentor began to give me some targets um, and I went away and was able to look up some things that she had recommended. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me a bit about how you put that reading and uh, research into your practice? Okay, so when I was in the school, the school that I was in um, was very much focused on pupil independence. Mm -hmm. um, so I researched a lot around that. Um, a lot of it was to do with Dylan Williams, um, who looked at modelling and partner talk. And I was able to incorporate that into the classroom. Excellent, thank you. Can you tell me about how you put your uh, reading and research into practice? So my mentor began to give, began to give me um, some targets and a lot of them was to do with the questioning and instead of just taking the first answer I needed to expand on those questioning mm -hmm. and to develop my more able and talented. So therefore um, she told me to look at the Bloom's taxonomy. I still have them on my lanyard. Um, and it just helps me to prompt those more able and talented children um, with some deeper questioning. That's excellent, thank you. Could you give an example of how your wider reading and research supported your teaching? So the school I was involved in was looking at the school and um, the impact of developing pupil independence and, and how I was, I was really interested in that was um, looking at the Dylan Williams book and looking at the modelling and the talking partners and how I could incorporate that into the classroom. Excellent. And what impact did this have on the pupils in your class? It enabled me to take what I had read and try it out in the classroom to see whether it would work, especially with the early years that I was in. Um, I had to adapt it sometimes and I would speak to my mentor about it and I was able to reflect on that in my um, evaluations. Excellent, thank you. You've talked a lot about your different wider reading and research experiences. What has helped support you during this process? Um, university helped me a lot. Um, my mentor guided me a lot on the way, especially when I was at AWARE, um, before I became a bit more independent. Um, training days, insets, gathering all that uh, uh, research from, from those important professional discussions with other adults mm. um, and observations. Excellent. And you've mentioned before collaboration with um, other NQTs on the days in university. Yes, especially when we used to um, meet up on the Friday, we would have a lot of that um, dialogue in, where we'd reflect on the previous week about what things worked or what we'd, we were reading and we'd just bounce off each other with those um, discussions. That's brilliant, thank you. And how did you measure the impact of your change? Um, tracking pupils, lear pupils learning. Um, reflecting on my lessons, planning for the next lesson, if they got it or not, having those interventions, um, and professional dialogues with my mentor. Excellent. I can see from these experiences that's been referenced to many of the other standards, and you've mentioned collaboration there with other teachers and with, with NQTs, um, also listening to learners and gathering their impact on the, of the learning, and definitely some aspects of leadership in there as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.